in the state of Arizona, victims of crimes have rights. In fact, they're constitutionally protected. And knowing those rights is extremely important when defending clients in criminal cases. Hi there, my name is attorney Andy Markintel, and I'm a partner here at the Attorneys for Freedom Law Firm. Today I want to talk to you about victims' rights in Arizona when you're talking about victims in a criminal case, okay? So the Constitution and the statutory law in Arizona guarantees victims certain protections in criminal cases. For example, they have a right not to be contacted by the defendant or the defendant's counsel, right? I can't just call up a victim in a criminal case and interview them. In fact, victims have a right to refuse all interviews up to trial. Now, this seems kind of inconsistent with many other protections that we have, like the right to face one's accuser, the confrontation clause, the right to actually get to ask the person who's accusing you of the crime to give their version of events. Well, in Arizona, because of those victims' protections, we don't get that until actually going to trial if we have a victim who doesn't want to talk to us. Now, like any right, a victim can waive this right. Right? If a victim were to contact me and say, hey, I'm interested in talking to you and helping out the defense in the case, uh, which they do sometimes, well, then I can talk to them at that point after I carefully explain the victim's bill of rights. So it's very important to know, first of all, do we have a hostile victim or do we have a victim who wants to assist the defense in the case? Another important right that victims have of any criminal matter in Arizona, they have the right to be consulted about how the case is going to turn out. In other words, before the prosecutor goes to the defense with a plea deal, they're required to get victim input. It doesn't mean necessarily that the victim can veto what the prosecutor wants to do or forbid them or force them to give a certain plea or another. However, that victim feedback is extremely important to many, many prosecutors in this state when assessing what kind of an offer to make. Also, the victim can tell them whatever else they want. They can tell the prosecutor something, for example, like, I ain't showing up to trial. I don't want to help. I don't want to assist in this prosecution. And obviously, those types of things also play largely into a prosecutor's disposition of the case. So it's extremely important for your defense attorney in a victim crime to be familiar with the Victim's Bill of Rights and the relevant statutory law so that they can best represent you in a criminal matter. Visit our website, attorneysforfreedom.com, for more information. Give us a call, set up a consultation. We'd love to talk to you. Until next time, this has been attorney Andy Markintel. Have a great day. Thank you.